Hey, welcome to another dual commentary for VGT season number 26 and showcasing the number one rated player right now this season, Pro Hardy, going up against Mafia Woosh. Hardy's going to be right here playing the Brown Zerg in the middle left position and his opponent playing the White Terran in the top left position is Mafia Woosh. So it looks like this one's going to be a tough one for Hardy to win because his opponent is directly above him. So I would have to give Woosh about an 80 to 85 percent chance to win this. Um, when you're Zerg underneath the Terran, it's usually extremely hard to come out with a win, especially against someone of Mafia Woosh's caliber. Very mm -hmm. experienced, been around forever, and knows how to play the map and uh, do the right thing to win. So going to be a tough one for Hardy to pull out. Uh, Pro Hardy's doing a standard Zerg build. Looks like just choked. Yep, going for that ninth drone choke. And I would assume he's going to go for the drone first and then the overlord. And then when that drone pops, he's going to throw it on the pool. So, But he might try to do something crazy like go Zerg wings or something. He, he knows he's playing a high caliber player, so he mid-base Zerg. He's looking kind of edgy. Yep, random versus random, so they don't know each other's race on StarCraft Original. And we have not seen these games yet. Actually, they just met here in the middle of the map, so they know each other's matchup. And Mafia Woosh is going to know almost exactly where Hardy is, one or two bases. Yep, and Woosh going for the three barracks build and has not gassed yet. I would anticipate him to gas either with this SCV that finishes or um, this SCV that finishes. I'm pretty sure to do with this first SCV that finishes. Yep, and Hardy going to throw down his second hatchery right now over here to the left side of his base and he'll probably be sending a drone out soon probably this drone out too yep. and it, I think he's saving up larvae because he's not spending his minerals so he's going to get a couple zerglings out um, to help kind of solidify his choke yeah he doesn't want Mafia Wish putting down a, a bunker and I thought it was Mafia Wish I wanted, I'd play the standard game I'm right above him You're, I'd go my three racks and go into a factory pull it out from there I mean two factory of course that build Yep, so Hardy going to instantly get this uh, forward sunken colony instead of getting it back here because he's going to want to try to push out this choke as far as possible to delay that tank push. And he is getting this six or uh, four Zerglings out with the two from his choke, so six total. And he's going to use one of them to ward off that SCV and the rest of them to get his choke started. Yep, Mafia Wish keeping good control of that SCV, make sure to die, get his scout out. I mean, Wish could do a Marine walk by on that choke in time. Yeah, that's a strategy I've seen a couple players do. Uh, go for fast stim and try to run Marines past the choke. Oh, he's face. Oh, okay, I was going to say, he can't take this on. Basil playing it safe with that sunken. Yep, and um, I forget what Woosh's name is. I think it's Danny. I think Woosh is Danny and, and Hardy is Basil. So if we happen to call him Danny or Basil, that's just their real names. The SCV is still alive. Hardy getting his gas at 320. A little delayed, but not too bad. Usually you want to see it at about 310 or so, but nothing too crazy. And looks like Woosh going to stay safe, build this factory in his base. He's not worried about playing a late game. Safe safe play is the great play in this case. Yeah, he just wants to make sure he doesn't lose to something quick like Zerglings or Fast Hydras or something stupid. I When I'm tearing, I like to go drops. I like to press the front with a tank or two and have some Marines with it. So they think I'm kind of pushing in, and then all of a sudden I'm dropping. Uh, a little bit of a lapse in the multitasking. Hardy didn't mind that gas for about 15 seconds after it was up. I think he's going wings or something. That Something suspicious. Yeah, Hardy wasn't minding his gas right away, and I would have expected him to do that. And the extra head, I don't know, something's really suspicious. I think he's going to go wings, power wings for a bit. Yeah, adding the four, well, he, he very well could because he's up against... He's, he, he wants to win this game quick, that's for sure. He doesn't want it to go to late game. And his tech is kind of slow. I mean, Basil's not one, aka Pro Hardy's not one to be messing around with this. Oh, and Woosh is going to have a ton of extra gas. He got that second gas down pretty early, but it looks like he only has one SCV in it. So a good play by Woosh, managing his resources. You don't want six SCVs mining gas this early, so good job not filling up that second geyser. Only put one SCV in it. And If you're tripling, you yeah. triple factory, that's when you get two or three gas. Plus. Yeah, but he's going to have a ton of extra gas now. Um, good marine count. Yep. If he keeps those bunched together, does it good push out from Hardy there? Lair, he started that lair at about 420 or so, so he'll probably have guardians at about 9 minutes and 30 seconds. 
Mm. Maybe he is going to speed things. I don't know. I just thought that someone was telling me just for how he's building. I was expecting it almost. That's a pretty good push out of the song. That's going to take Wish about seven minute point to get to the choke. It's about average. Yeah, I would I would expect Hardy to get a couple spore colonies to ward off this engineering bay. That slows down the Terran tank push. Mm -hmm. Whoosh, not command centering or anything. He's just going bulldog Terran, uh, staying on that one command center, two factory, and massing Marines on top of it. Oh, he's already gotten that far. Yep, Hardy getting in the evolution chamber. That's for spore colonies. He's going to get one in his main to make sure that Whoosh can't float something there, and then he's going to get another spore colony, probably uh, one of these two creep colonies. Whoosh actually oh. pushing really far already. That's real quick. That's actually... About twice as fast as I thought it's going to be. Yeah, uh, that's that's really bad for Hardy being in the mid base in the position he's in. It looks like Woosh is going to take this game down, getting that much of the. Oh, oh but he loses a, loses a tank to a sunken. You never want to see that. He, you know, he's kind of pushing the tank slow. I think he's going to start playing this for late game, and you can't blame him. Now Hardy started getting gas, adding gas extremely <laughs> soon. So Hardy massing gas at like five and a half, six minutes. Usually it's about seven minutes when you start adding gas geysers. Do you think he's thinking mutas too? Mutas yeah, he, for a bit, then going to guardian. He might be going mutas because you see he's got seven hundred more. He's got seven hundred gas and he's broke on minerals pretty much. So gonna be tr probably getting something interesting going here. The hive got started at about six thirty. So again, guardians at about nine thirty or so. A little late, and Woosh is already pressing in. Mm -hmm. That's inside this choke at 6.50, so he's a little bit ahead of schedule on his tank push. Yeah, he's like 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds ahead. Oh, but the, the, the Marines aren't with those tanks. If those, if those tanks go down, this I mean, that's a huge change around this game. There go, well, there stops that. Oh, and whoosh, a big lapse in uh, the, the timing and the micro there with the Marines, losing three tanks for nothing. Oh, oh that's a cute little rape, though. Yep, using that Wraith to help with the vision and just do a little bit of damage when he can. And Hardy smartly going to make the road to his main tougher. Get a couple more Sunkins down. And I see Hydros coming out now. I think it's a temporary fix. Just probably three of them, so race they'll come in his base. So, uh, well, that about tied it up. Him, Mafia Wish losing those tanks actually tied up the timing on this push. Yep, but Hardy only at 56 supply at 8 minutes into the game. And that Greater Spire is done now. Uh, and Greater Spire's not finished, but the Spire. Or, yeah, 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 sorry. So no, this no Greater Spire is going to finish at about 9 minutes, 9.30 or so. Yeah, 9.15, that's going to be... That could fit right. I mean, his base will be in the shenanigans, but he'll be... That's, that time will do. But Woosh knows it's coming, so he's smartly getting rates. Um, I don't see how Hardy's going to win this. He's... When he gets Guardians out, he's going to be facing about eight Wraiths. And the tanks are already in his choke, so this is going to be a tough situation for Hardy. It's going to come down to the wire, you bet. But, oh, he, oh, he needs to back mutas. up with those Mutas. Mm -hmm. He went committed, and he's like, oh, wait, that's way too many Marines. Oh, Mafia Wish getting hasty. He thinks his timeline's running out, and he's pushing forward. He's pushing hard. Oh, just going right that's, into the teeth of that sunken line, though. I don't like that. Once those Marines are dead, those Mutas are going to clean up. Unless he has enough barracks, how many re uh, barracks does the mafia that Woosh have? Uh, I think he has about eight barracks and four? three star forts, or yeah, about four barracks, so not going to have no, a huge marine that's mass. That's not enough. Notice how he's saving the mutas. Pearl Hardy's saving those mutas. Holding and up, he's waiting. that Greater Spire is going to finish at oh. 9, 12, 9, 15 or so. Okay, yeah, here comes 11 gardens. Or 12, is it my 12? Uh, no, he won't have the gas for it. He'll only be able to make about seven or eight Oh, he, ha he had that much. He just spends it. Yeah. So he's building more mutas or hydras. Hardy needs to morph those, gar or those guardians. Oh, no, he's going to keep them mutas. Uh -oh. oh, and just snipes that one tank that was in range of his drones, maybe. Yeah, he's not chancing it. And he then he's going to make the guardians right there. Great composure by both gamers. Mafia Wush and Bro Hardy there. Mafia Wush getting a little bit rich here, but now you see him starting to spend it. Mm -hmm extremely hard to keep, stay broke on fastest once you get up to about that nine minute mark the minerals are coming in just so fast oh, all those raids are good yeah so damage. many raids he's going to have a full control group of raids to deal with those guardians yeah. uh, when this... Spore, Spore <laughs> Colony does so much though that one Spore Colony will take care of like four raids with a few mutants I mean easy 
Hardy needs to start that upgrade at his greater spire. Yeah, and then there's, if Hardy can survive this attack, which I think he will, it's going to be depending a lot on these raids. And Zerg players never forget to upgrade Overlord Speed when you have the time and the money and the gas, yep. as he is doing now. Has it coming. Oh, I pulled those Guardians back. What is Hardy doing? He knows he has some time. I, that hurts. And whoosh all the way down to 85 supply. That hurts. So, <laughs> whoosh at 87 supply and Hardy at 85. You cannot let the Zerg be tied with you on supply. You want to stay at least 10 ahead of the Zerg.